that generation. The other thing that, that this book is heavy on is strong women, whether it's the prosecutor, whether it's the hit woman, whatever. Where does that come from, and what was your thought process in writing about that? I'm surrounded by them in my life, in a good way. I don't mean criminals, yeah. but, but w strong women. I have four uh, strong, smart, tall daughters. Um, uh, my wife is not tall, but she's smart and strong. And so they've shaped my view of the world in it, for the better. I'm a continuing project for them, but it's, I'm a better person for being surrounded by them and seeing the world more clearly. And so I, well, I mean, I'll tell you the story. But I was working on this book, and I originally intended the protagonist to be a, a guy. And while I was working on this, I was thinking about my experience as a prosecutor, and I wanted to draw on experiences I'd had in a particular case, prosecuting the Gambino brothers in the old federal courthouse in Lower Manhattan, and we did it in courtroom 318. And so I was imagining scenes that would be in courtroom 318. And here's where life has weird crossovers. While I was Dirk doing that work, my oldest daughter was the chief of the Violent and Organized Crime Unit in the Southern District of New York U.S. Attorney's Office, standing in the same courtroom, courtroom 318, because she had indicted Jeffrey Epstein and Glenn Maxwell, and Epstein had gotten away, had killed himself, but she was prosecuting literally on her feet, Maxwell, and I wanted to go to watch, and she forbid me, because she said, Dad, if you go, it'll be a thing. And I'm not even sure what that is, but it's not good. <laughs> Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to our channel and check out more of our content. Feel free to give your feedback and suggestions on what we should do next in the comments. This is Infinite Lee Productions. We love you.